Welcome back to the CTV News. We continue with word that UWP Senator Leonard Spinard Montoot has resigned his Senate seat. It took effect on Monday but was apparently kept under wraps until last night when the news was broken by a caller to Mr. Chairman David Samuels. His guest then was the General Secretary of the St. Lucia Labour Party, Leo Clark. Um, I don't know if you're aware of that um, Spider Montoot resigned from the Senate. No, I, I'm not aware of that. I'm not sure if this. No. Yes, it was just Mr. Chairman is aware. Of short, that. short while ago, that's there has been from the party. There has the been. Senate. There has been some talk about not from the party, from the Senate. He's resigned from the Senate because, as far as I know, he's having a political meeting tonight in Groseley. Yes, the LPM. He, mm -hmm. No, not not with the LPM, with um, the United Workers Party. So that's speculation, and, and it's not. It's you not. ought not. Where there's smoke, there's fire. No, no. And what we I'm, all know that. What I'm saying is, we like to have credible information on this program. Okay. Well, you'll get it during the course of the week. <laughs> <laughs> thank, um, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, that's an interesting one. Um, I know that um, there was some talk that he was making the rounds. There was some. There was, but I some. I didn't know that he had actually resigned today. Um, from, from the, the Senate. Senate, from right. the Senate, from yes. the Senate. I wasn't aware. Yeah, but it wasn't on the news. I didn't. I have, didn't hear it on any of the newscasts no, for the but day. But there's been some talk yeah. about it for about a while. It it's been then? floating around for okay. a while. Okay. But she is saying that as if he is he is with the LPM. Yeah. Um, and I, you know for sure that's not so. That is not so, as far as I am aware. Uh, as far as you're aware. Yeah. Another issue discussed on Mr. Chairman last night was talk of a review of constituency boundaries, and in particular those in Groseley. Mr. Leo Clark acknowledged that constitutionally, constituencies like that of Groseley, which has grown significantly in population size, ought to be reviewed. He revealed that the Groseley constituency was last in focus in 1974, some 40 years ago. If nothing is done as far as the boundaries are concerned, we would have gone into the last time there were boundary changes, not amendments to boundary lines. 1974. 1974. Yeah. That is four decades ago. In that time, the growth of the population has been almost six, the po population has grown by almost 60% from where it was back then. There's been a lot of that has been mainly can be seen mainly in the northern urban districts. Grosily stands out. Grosily has about more than twice the population of the average po population per constituency, more than twice, 23,000 people. And remember, we are dealing with population, not electors. Yes. It's population that's under consideration. Okay. And what happens is that you look at the most recent census. The most recent census places Grosely a little over that, over 23,000 people. And then you have other large constituencies like Castries Southeast. You have Babono. You have Castries East and so on. The Constitution requires that you look as much as possible to create constituencies that are about even in number. As so much as possible. As much as possible. Yes. Taking a few other things like communication, administrative matters, and so on. So that if you look at what exists today, it means that we are way outside of the requirements of the Constitution.